The Antagonist Movement started, it was three of us. It was a mix of sort of all our interests, which was painting, film, music, and writing. And the problem is you become enslaved to making money and just being able to pay your rent. We thought about it and there was like this whole uh, army of people who wanted to do something creative, whether it was acting or music or performance or whatever. And we decided to try to create venues where people could express themselves creatively. And the other aspect of having a venue is that then you can try to guide artists into creating and making new forms of art. Whether that means getting some dancer to try to make a film or a musician to incorporate more poetry or writing into his piece. It's sort of the ebb and flow of all the different creative elements there are. The venues that we create are for first time and aspiring artists. The main comment that we'll get from a lot of people is that this is our first art show. And it's a good feeling to give somebody their very first art show. It might be their very last art show, but at least they're getting a place to show. I don't know how many artists it's been. It seems like a lot. Why do I do it? I do it, and I'm a professional art handler for a part-time job. Last Thursday, I worked 16 hours hanging art. I get to Niagara, I'm miserable. I don't want to hang somebody's artwork, but I'm helping somebody hang their art, and they say, this is my first show in New York, and they're really proud of it, and that makes me, that's the reason I do it. Unless you have the economics behind you, it's very hard to get a show in a gallery. So even though we're doing a show in a bar, you know, for a lot of people, that's their first show, their first experience with showing. Most of these shows are not meant so people can sell art. It's more about artists meeting other artists and making connections, and then hopefully, outside of what we're doing, creating their own art scenes and perpetuating new forms of art. If it's just a place to give somebody a venue and get them to creating art, that's one aspect of it. But it's also the art itself that we do is usually provocative and pushy. So if you have like a brother, Mike Cohen, who's tape recording his parents, instigating fights with them, that's more representation of the artwork that we do. I highly recommend any child growing up in the world today to secretly tape record your parents. Three quarters of the parents don't give a <laughs> shit. You want me to put a good tell you a few of them that don't? Yeah, go ahead. Well, on. I could, but I'm not going to. Yeah, other people involved, it's like Arturo Vega, who is the artistic director for the Ramones. He's kind of like um, advisors who guides us in a lot of ways, comes up with some of our images and logos and stuff, and helps create the art shows that we do. It's like a school. It's kind of like a school, you know, where people come and uh, learn by, I guess, the way you're supposed to learn, by expressing yourself. And if you look at all the art movements in the past, it's always sort of the, the standard of art movement is sort of this is something new that we are doing, whether it's the beat mix or Andy Warhol's factory and pop culture. And what's different about the antagonist movement is that it's not so much of a style of art, it's more about the taking the art and doing something with the art. It's how you take the art and you transform the art. It's how you take the individual and then make them into something else. So it's more about the process of the individual and cultivating them than it is about impressionism or you know, modernism or any of that sort of thing. The focus is the process, but that's not to say that we shouldn't strive to have excellent work and aesthetically pleasing work that excites everybody. I mean, I'm not saying you should show up with a piece of shit on a canvas and say, oh, but it was all about the process. That's why you gotta love this piece. That's not my point. but. The process should be first, and then hopefully, you know, at some point, we keep getting better and those two ideas merge. So we have a show that is all about the process that also floors everybody who comes and sees it. That would be ideal. That would be great. We do art shows every week, and we're looking for all types of art, music, photography, painting, whatever. We put it up for one night, and it's a, like a one-night opening, and at the end of the night, you take all your art, and it's over with. Because we do 15 to 20 artists every week, we're always desperate to find more artists because we can't do the art shows without the artists. You gotta set goals, that's the thing I always forget to do. You gotta set goals and you got to meet them. If you don't, you're gonna be an idiot blundering about, talking, 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 and not doing. Doing, it's a movement, it's motion, it's things happening. We're doing art shows, we're making clothes, we're publishing writers, we're doing street art, we're doing everything. And it's all one thing. And it's not separate, detached 
things. It's one thing. It's, you know, the antagonist movement. 